Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. Just enjoying my Christmas vacation. So far so good. I just finished uh, my PE class during the finals. So now I get to have plenty of time to relax and do whatever I want. You know, maybe do some more videos if I can on YouTube and and be able to post it on VidShoot, which I'm still working on. I mean, I'm already up to 300 videos. I can't believe it. But it's really, really hard work that I have to follow. So what can you do? I mean, I just hope I'll still be able to stay on YouTube uh, by the time January comes. I mean, granted, I, I am posting some reviews of family films as well. But I, I do hope I get to review other films that are not, you know, geared towards families. But, I mean, again, my channel isn't really dedicated to kids. It was never meant to be. Even though I had reviewed other stuff too that's been before, but I just don't want this to happen. But either way, I'm, I'm hoping for the best because of the stupid COPPA law that's going around. Well, anyway, I haven't done a trailer reaction for a while. I hardly ever do any of these. In fact, I usually just share these trailers um, directly from Facebook and I give my thoughts to it very quickly. Because, you know, I, I love to move on with other stuff. But I thought it would be nice to do one for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Um, now, as you know, I've been a huge fan of Ghostbusters and still am. I always loved the original film. It's a classic. Ever since uh, I saw it as a kid. You know, we rented it on home video. Um, we watched it on pay TV. Like, whatever channel they play it on, I watched it on TV. I got to see the sequel in theaters. This is the first time for me as a four-year-old kid with my family and it was like, oh, it was amazing. But it's a very underrated sequel. It deserves more love. I mean, I understand, but I feel like, you know, at least we got the original cast back again and they still get to fight evil. And to me, I thought it was fun. So at least now we had two films to, to enjoy. But then after all these years, like over 30 years, we now have a new Ghostbusters film, which was in 2016. Now, I know it had a lot of controversy when it came out. And I mean, when I heard that Paul Feig was going to get involved, I was actually excited because think about it, you know. Paul Feig, you know, I always love him in heavyweights and... And the fact that he's directing films like, you know, Bridesmaids and as well as The Heat and Spy. But he also directed On Company Miners, so, which uh, Mia's uh, sister, uh, Gia, was in. So. Yeah, that was a Christmas comedy, by the way. Um, I would have thought about that. Um, yeah, it was, it was really cool that they were going to bring him in, but then it just became a problem. I mean, most people hated the film because of the way they're treated uh, towards men. You know, because we have a female cast and everyone has to be, you know, offensive and all that. I mean, I didn't hate the movie, though, but I think it's just a so-so mixed bag. I mean, it had some lame jokes in there. Yes, there are some offensive ones too, and and it's not paying respect to the original cast who are with us, at least. I mean, I know they, they try to pay respect to uh, the late, great uh, Harold Ramis. I mean, they, but I think they could have done some justice. So I understand. I mean, to me, it's just more of a spin-off as it is. Um... Don't get me wrong, I never had problems with having a female cast, but I just think they really did deserve a lot better than this. I mean, the CGI deserves better. I mean, yeah, that's that's the thing. The CGI just looked pretty bad. But that's what you get from Sony Imageworks. They always have to make uh, some good or, or not so good CGI. Um, but whatever, man. I mean, again... I deserve better than that. 
But now we got uh, Afterlife, and with Jason Reitman, who who's of course the son of Ivan Reitman, you know the original director of the first two films. And of course, he had directed Juno, which uh, Dalbo Cody had wrote, which stars Ellen Page, Jason Bateman, as well as um, Jennifer Gardner, Allison Jenny. Um, J.K. Simmons, and even Michael Cera. It's an excellent movie. And he has directed films like Thank You for Smoking, uh, with Aaron Eckhart and Katie Holmes, but also um, he did direct it uh, Up in the Air, you know, with George Clooney and Anna Kendrick, among others. Um, yeah, and even the um, the films Young Adult and Tolly. So he's a great director, and I could definitely see him doing a Ghostbusters film. And I'm very excited for it, um, especially since I just um, saw the trailer. It, it premiered on Monday, so I'm going to see it again just to give you some more detail. A couple months ago, um, during this year, I did saw the early teaser which actually shows uh, the Ecto-1, just a, a nice close-up before, you know, we started seeing the ghosts uh, appearing. And I was like, oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. I, I hope this turns out to be the best. I'll put my headphones on, and here we go. Yeah, now we see a bunch of kids riding on the car. Then with Somerville, we see our friend Woodhart from Stranger Things to be in there. Notice that uh, house been evicted. So now to be moving to a, a farm horse that, that their grandfather had left them in the middle of nowhere. So Now they begin to spot something mysterious. Like it might be a ghost. Yep. So you can see the, well, the green... Ghost is growing all the way down onto the well. Now you got Paul Rudd as the teacher. It's like an earthquake, you see. So they found the the uh, ghost trap, which is the replica from the original. Ghostbusters, yeah, and that's what they found. Yeah, from writer director Jason Brighton. I I like how they they actually act like the original Ghostbusters was like the Walking Dead. <laughs> and we found out that um, that one of the relatives is happened to be the grandfather of Egon. Yeah, that's when they discovered, uh, yeah, Egon Spengler's uh, jacket. Of wow. <laughs> yeah, not a ghost uh, slamming. And then there's the Ecto-1. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh wow. Now you can see Slimer. And you can see the rest of the kids just going around um, attacking all the, um, <laughs> the ghosts. You know, using all the streams and everything. Okay, yeah, I know, I just went into it. And yes, uh, it's written by uh, Gil Keaton. Yes, the same guy who gave us uh, Monster House. But he also did the movie Poltergeist, the remake. Yeah, that was a terrible one. It's instantly forgettable. And yes, um, with uh, Jason Reitman also co-writing the film. And I gotta say, you know, I was really impressed. It has a bit of a Stranger Things vibe to it, considering that it had a Finn Woodhart from Stranger Things. Um, and yes, 
I know they're saying that um, there isn't much jokes in the film, but that's alright because this, this is just the first trailer. We're probably going to see more of that. So I know it had to be quite serious because I know we see this in recent trailers. You know, they, everything has to be serious, and then before we get to the punchline in the next trailer. So I know we're going to get that too. Uh, so we actually got. Um, Interesting cast so far. Um, not only Finn Woodhart, but we have Carrie Coon, got Mechanic Grace, and uh, Paul Rudd. <laughs> and hopefully we'll get to see the cameos, um, which is not shown yet, but we're going to. And hopefully they're going to be able to do justice to the original, because I know in the 2016 film. We did have the cameos, but they just didn't do any justice to them whatsoever. Um, anyway, um, it's nice to hear that they did pay some respect to, um, and I'm glad they did, to uh, Harold Ramis, uh, who played the role of Egon. And we learned to find out that, yeah, he's the grandfather. And, and we learned that he, he died, so I know that going to try to uh, respect him, period. And, yes, they had the line, there hasn't been a ghost sighting in 30 years, which almost feels like, yeah, there never was any ghost hunting, like, after Ghostbusters 2. So I guess the 2016 film was just an illusion. <laughs> um, but it's nice. Um, it's a very nice trailer, and I'm really um, impressed with it. And I hope I get to see the next trailer when it comes. And I really am hoping to see this movie in theaters. I really want to see it uh, next summer. Because, you know, as a big fan of Ghostbusters, you know, we need more love. And we need more respect. Especially for for the original cast who, who are still with us. And they still uh, pay more to their duties. And Sony really needs to start... Uh, getting their act together and and pay respect to the originals because we all know that it's part of our childhood and we all grew up with them and and Ghostbusters should always be remembered and never die <laughs> yeah because not only is it a funny comedy but it's also an awesome sci-fi adventure that we all need so I, I'm I'm just hoping this is going to be the the best movie of the year for the summer, and I hope this will make it up for it after the 2016 film. And um, well, the CGI in the film, even though it's only brief, uh, for one scene at the other, um, yes, it looked like it was still the CGI that's done by Sony Image Works. Yeah, the same people that just did the the previous one. Because I know the the original two films were done by the uh, Whitman Who's, the uh, which is a special effects company that that did a an excellent job, you know, using practical effects, all the lasers and stuff that they did at the time. I mean, I really miss old special effects too. But I, I really hope this actually stays true. And it was really nice to have, having to see the Ghost Trap and the Ecto One come to life and it's nice to see that the kids were actually riding on there and and they get to bring in all the the equipment so they'll be able to stop all these ghosts and there's a you can definitely see Slimer on, on the side and all that I'm like wow uh, but that's uh, my true reaction to Ghostbusters Afterlife I'm Justin Sabora and I'll see you later bye